Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial, we will have a look how to use Effect Parameter Chaser for effect settings. As task, we want to chase the length and weight parameter of a SCE wave radial automatically. This parameter chaser should consist of three steps. In step 1, the length and weight should be set to the value 30. In step 2, the length should be set to 150. And in step 3, the wide should be set to 100. Now let us start. In the first step, we want to activate the SCE wave radial. Therefore, we navigate to the effect selection button and now we choose SCE wave radial. According to our task, the length and weight parameter should be set to 30. Now let us open the effect parameter chaser. Therefore, we navigate to the effect parameter chaser button, perform a right click and we select edit in the context menu. The effect parameter chaser window opens and now we move it a little bit. To add the first step, we click the plus button. Now all parameters of the current SCE wave radial are saved in this step and we call it small radial. Therefore, we perform a double click at the column description and we type small radial and now we press enter. In the next step, we change the length to the value 150. And again, to save this setting inside of the chaser, we click the plus button. And as last step, we have to change the white to 100. And now we click plus to save these parameters. According to our task, all steps should have a fade time of 2 seconds. Therefore, we select all of them with the help of Ctrl and A at the keyboard, perform a right click at one column and press 2 plus Enter. The playback mode should be set to ping pong. Now we can test our chaser. As you can see in the control section of the wave radial, everything is locked and the parameters for length and wide will be changed automatically. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.